Hello everyone, Pally Tub here and welcome back to Crab Champions. Hope you guys are doing well today. In today's video, I'm going to attempt the unthinkable yet again. We are going to try to win a round with only melee attacks and grenades. No shooting is allowed. We've attempted this one other time on the channel and I shot on round 28. I was devastated. To alleviate that problem, we have unbound fire from my controls. I left click for melee and I right click for grenade. I still have aim just in case I need to hover in the air, but I doubt I'll be using that very much. I'm going with the auto rifle because I've never gotten a win with it. My key totem item is the layered grenade. Grenades have a chance to explode twice. That could be supremely powerful. For our difficulty totem, we're just normal plus two for random islands. I wanted to at least shake that up a little bit. If you guys enjoy the Crab Champions content, make sure you hit that thumbs up button to support this video. I would very much appreciate it. Let's get today's run underway. So for those of you that are religious Nightstream watchers, you'll know that we attempted this challenge recently on Hollystream. We did it in four player co-op. And four player co-op is easier in some ways because of course, if you die, the run may still continue. Your friends can keep it going. But I expected this challenge to be absolutely miserable with <gasps> mortar turret. I can use that. That's not me shooting. Uh, I expected this challenge to be absolutely miserable. And in fact, by the end of it, I think it was some of the strongest builds all of us have ever had. I was so impressed with it. And I hope I can recreate at least a little bit of that magic for you guys here today. That mortar turret is gonna do a pretty good job. That's a legendary turret, so it should be very noticeable, the effects that it's gonna have. You guys have uh, suggested, recommended in the past that I show off a full turret build. The problem is that that is so hard to chase. That's so hard to farm for, very difficult. Uh, I could take aerial shots and just sell it. Fire rate increased after eliminating an enemy doesn't do anything for me either. So all of those are about the same. I'm going for the health here. We want a nice foundation of HP that we can build the rest of our run upon. That is what I am trying to achieve. Where's my turret? I'll play next to it. It's over here in the corner. Yeah, it's one-shotting these little crabs. That's not bad at all. We could just hold this part of the beach down. Do you think it'll one-shot skulls? There's no way, right? I'm just gonna keep dodging. That was residual damage. That's main hit damage. <laughs> I didn't even got it with the fadeaway. Good job, Mortar Turret. Nicely done, nicely done. Valued customer, max health increased when making purchases at a shop. This was changed. This used to... Okay, we're gonna take the bronze heart. We're gonna drop this and we're gonna sell it. <laughs> and we're gonna take the upgrade chest. We're trying to guarantee an upgrade on either the mortar or the grenade. That's what we're trying to achieve with that. I could have uh, gotten some other things there that would have been good, but I think this will have the most impact right now. Whenever you see an upgrade area early, it's always good to assess your build and what will help you achieve greatness. Great grenade there. Speaking of, takes down one of the elite crabs, another on the other side of this rock. Gets hit with a small grenade. We'll continue to kite away. Two seconds until I can throw. Here it is. And Island 4 has been cleared. What'd you give me? What'd you give me? I want it. Okay, we're going to take the level 2 mortar turret, and it looks like we're going to be going for a boss next. I didn't want to go to the shop. We don't have any money. Uh, where is my mortar turret? It's on the far side. We'll kite towards that. It looks like we have a fire shotgun crab in the middle. That could be doing a lot of damage to us. So let's let the turret get in there. Start chunking a little bit. I'll start throwing out some grenades as well. Why is he just standing still? <laughs> okay, we are gonna have to kite back here. His shotgun blast actually helping me with that quite a lot, getting me airborne. I'm gonna keep chucking grenades at this guy as he walks by, good melee hit there. And then I'm just moving back to the turret. We're gonna make this guy play where I want him to play. I should be completely safe here as well. Okay, half health on boss, kite right away. If he jumps towards me, we'll move. I have my advantage and it's called a mortar turret. We just need to make sure that we use it. Grenades every time they're off cooldown. I did take a bit of a hit there. Let's try to keep him in front of this. Oh God. And that's why I'm line of sighting as much as I am. Holy crap. Uh, grenade was out, but I think it missed. 50 HP is all I have left. 30 HP is all I have left. 
Okay, I think we respected him well. Please give me a heart in my last chest, please. Shockwave, layered grenade, or dagger arc? Please, thank you. We're also gonna take these skill chests here. I know a lot of you are thinking, Pally, it's early in the run. You gotta get economy, get economy, get economy. I do agree with that. Economy would have been great. However, skill chests augment what you bring into the run, your kit that you bring into the run. So it could give you Grenadier to be able to throw more grenades because you brought more grenades in. It could, oh God, I need to get away from these guys. It could obviously give us homing shot, which we always meme about. But what I'm really looking for today is a range increase for my melee. Being able to hit enemies from further away means I can play safer, use line of sight more, and those have a decent, ch there it is, big claws, decent ch chance of spawning from there. I'm not gonna do a boss again. I don't feel that confident. We will take on a random survival. 50 seconds we have to stay alive here. We're already seeing some elite slugs in play as well. They're really not wasting any time with that. The mortar turret taking down skulls like crazy. You know, come to think of it, we did also have a turret build in our melee run that we were doing. And they had like seven levels of enhanced turrets or something. I just took damage, so we're definitely not gonna get flawless. I don't even know if that was an option though, to be fair. The melee damage is looking really good so far. We're killing all of these small guys in a single swing. These skeletons are gonna be an issue as this run progresses, unless we get some better grenade stuff. So fishing for a damage chest could be very beneficial there. 50 HP remaining. This is round seven. So we have one more to do after this. We need to make sure we stay somewhat healthy. There we go. Island seven. Uh, fast Claws, that's a faster speed. Scavenger or Big Claws level two. I'm gonna take Fast Claws so we can melee more often. And then, uh, yeah, I'm gonna try the health. Or excuse me, I'm gonna give up the health. I'm gonna try the elemental. I'm gonna try the elemental. Health was the better call, I wanna be clear. But there's a chance that I get like Fire Claws or something. There's a very small chance that I could start popping off right now. I'm gonna try to break this rock right here, spawn these elites in, and then just bring them towards the mortar turret so it can get its job done. I'm gonna clear out what I consider the cannon fodder here if I can, so the mortar turret can focus on the elites on the left. A good layered grenade does seem to pop the majority of them over there with the help of our little fire buddy. And now we just have some ants to finish taken down. That's actually not all that's left. One poison slug did make it out of there. Quick boop will send him packing. I'm not sure if that was the mortar or if that was me. Didn't even hear the driller, but we got an ultra shot. I'll just go ahead and salvage that. Shop is next level. Poison shot, lightning shot, fire shot. Salvage all of that. And here we go to the first shop. $1,191. Vampire. Heal after each melee elimination. Fortitude. Max health after each island. Light shot and arcane blast not tempting me too much. Heal after each island. That sounds good. Sniper turret, bronze heart, and split shot. Can't afford that. There is a heal back here, although I doubt I will need it. And we're going up against the first actual boss now. The one earlier was just a bonus one. If we can get by this, we will head to a different biome. And it looks like we're fighting the same boss as before as well. Some quick positioning keeps me away from that volley. We're doing pretty good damage in here so far. I'm gonna try to keep it up, especially as I assume he was on cooldown right there and that's why he wasn't shooting. But here we go, next volley is coming our way. Boss is half health and I'm trying to let the turrets do their job. We do have two of them now, both of them doing the same damage, just split evenly. And this guy is right in between both of them. That's the best spot he could be. I'm just gonna keep kiting away. If he makes his way up towards me, I'm gonna run to the other pillar. Here we go. I have a plan of escape, and it's time to initiate the plan. Now I'm moving to the middle of the map. Try to keep him in the way of these. Perfect. I'm gonna stand here for line of sight. That'll keep him in the way of those mortars. You can see he's taken 400 damage a shot from those. He's not happy with me unloading a volley of rocket blasts as I come around the corner. But we finish him off and get ourselves a key. Ice Aura, yes, please. Now we're gonna start to see the true power of this coming online. Every eight seconds, we're gonna deal 150 damage around us and apply 25 
ice stacks. Those 25 ice stacks will be enough to freeze every enemy around me every time this effect procs. You know what's even better? The cave allows me to use my auras in line of sight around this wall. Remember, we still have those mortar turrets out there doing damage too. So there's a chance that no enemy will even make it to the cave and I don't even have to do anything. The enemies will make it here. Just to be clear, the elites are gonna spawn soon and then I'm gonna have to move. But would you imagine the ability to stand still in confidence without taking damage in a melee only run? I don't think most of you were thinking that, and I certainly wasn't thinking that when I jumped in. Last dance right here, very quick hit to the face, clears the round, and we will pick up none of these. We're selling those off. Double damage with homing barrels is actually totally achievable for our build to do, because the homing barrels are new physics objects, just like the barrels we spawn, by the way. But because they interact with the physics of the game, we can constantly just push these back and then try to blow them up on our enemies. We can use the literal thing they're trying to kill us with as an offensive weapon back at them. Now, clearing them out when there are no enemies is a bit problematic with a melee build like this. But we'll do our best to make it work. Either way, we got two chests, enhanced turrets, sonic boot, we'll take enhanced turrets. And then we will also take, I don't want heavy grenade. Sonic boom. I think I'm just gonna salvage, bro. I need my grenades to go far because they're my only ranged thing that I have. Uh, do we want to do another boss or do we want to try critical chest? Critical chest could give us melee crit chance. I really doubt it's going to, which is gonna feel really bad here in a minute. Uh, when we realized that we could have fought a boss and got a purple item. Where are my totems? Or my turrets? Where are my turrets? We need to find them. They're around here somewhere. Maybe. Wait, guys, it's not a big map. They must be over here. Something... There they are. There's one. Okay. We'll play around this. Come on, friends. <laughs> the water's fine. Good. Welcome. Oh, these skulls are actually kind of tanky, and those are the weaker skulls. That's not filling me with a bunch of confidence, but we'll just use our turret. That's what they're for. Huge chain reaction explosion on the other side. I wonder if a uh, a uh, rock had to have been broken there. That's had to set that off. There's no way I did that, unless there's another mortar turret over here that I don't know about. Hey, bud. You just hanging out? Hold on, I got another grenade for you. Don't move. Oh. He wasn't the last one. <laughs> okay, I thought I was playing Crab Champions, not hide and seek. What's going on? Crick grenade, critical claws! We got it! We got it! Nice! Oh, hello, hello, hello. What are you? Uh, gain a random drop. That was on a fuse, so that would have broken sooner and actually gave us big claws and you saw our ice aura protecting us from behind. Now, you know what's funny enough? Uh, enhanced turrets makes your turrets better by spawning another one to increase its damage. So we can never find another mortar turret and that is okay. As long as we keep getting enhanced turrets, we'll continue to spawn more of these things around us all the time. Speaking of which, enhanced turrets is a damage mod. Interesting. Critical Claws is giving us 20%, so we only need to find four more of those to be at 100% crit chance on every melee swing we do. That's pretty fantastic. Ice cube, ice cold, or ice shot, along with ice breaker, ice cold. Uh, I guess we'll take ice cold. So when our aura pulses, it'll freeze targets more. I'm also going to take the boss here. I feel very confident we can take the boss here, especially with our mortars in play. Let's go ahead and dodge that first thing of ice right there. Another grenade is out. Quick slide to the side. We can dodge all of that. Stay composed and we'll be fine. I should get a little closer to him just for the ice aura, to be honest. There we go. A little freeze for him. I'm going to kite him this way just so he comes back in the... <clears throat> excuse me. Losing my voice. Back in the path of the turrets. That's a very long freeze. Thank you. We're not breaking any speed records taking these bosses down. Don't get me wrong, but it's really not that dangerous at the moment either. I am missing some HP. Enemy boss is at half health. We're doing a little bit better than him. Jump again for some quick swings. That 750 was from our crits on melee. Frozen one more time. I'm going to be jumping out again soon. We need to make sure we keep our health high if we can. 
Now we do have vampire, right? So like literally just going to the next level will allow us to heal pretty respectfully. Uh, we need to go this way and not through that tiny, that tiny archway. If you can, my dude. I'm not getting faked out, am I? Is he somewhere else? How the fuck did that happen? Did he take the jump hat? He had to have taken the jump hat. What on earth? Okay, well, like I said, not the fastest boss we've ever done, but we made it out on the other side. Ice Aura upgrade. You know what also could be good? Any of these. I'm gonna go for the Ice Aura though. Repelling Dash would help keep us safe, and I do think that is pretty important. Uh, I'm gonna take the Spiked over the Random because we should be able to heal quite well. We're at 386 right now. Oh yeah, two per kill. Ice Aura is gonna kind of mess up any Bullseye stuff that we may have been planning, so I should be aware of that. But it's only every eight seconds, so we would still sneak in a few here and there. I wouldn't mind getting more melee reach at this, po at, at this point. I feel like being able to hit enemies from further away would be really good. It scales up ridiculously as I need to find my turrets. So I can't kill that skull. It scales up like crazy, too, because uh, your melee range can be like a football field. <laughs> like, you just start swinging into space. It's ridiculous. Uh, grenades out. I don't think it'll connect with the skull. I'm oh, there are my turrets. Here we go. Oh, they're already killing an elite for me. Look at that. Huge explosions around the corner, too, as those mortars are continuing to chunk. I feel like he didn't even feel that grenade. Hit him. This is getting scary. This is getting scary. This guy's pretty scary. And I mean, bosses are only gonna get more strong like this as well. We need to be aware of that. We gotta find some more damage somewhere. Come on, who's left? Come on. There he is, <laughs> completely frozen in the corner. <laughs> uh, our chest is over here off to the left. It's only a single spike and that's okay. Tasty orange sniper tur- Oh, we got a sniper turret. That's why there's an extra one. I think I lied earlier. I thought we just had the enhanced turrets. I totally spaced out on getting the sniper turret. Grenade spawn homing explosive barrels when exploding. How is that different from... Oh, no. Barrel explosion. Oh, okay. I thought homing barrel was also a mod as well. I guess I was wrong. So these deal 450 damage per barrel that we send out. We spawn one every time. Might be a little difficult to pop those, to be honest. Uh, I'm gonna go for the economy. I think getting a single paycheck or something could be pretty good at this point. Something just died. Uh, this is a horde, so we just have to stay alive for 40 seconds. With any luck, I can get full HP here, potentially. Just keep kiting back and forth over here. We're not one-shotting these crabs with our melee anymore, which is not where we want to be. Perhaps that tasty orange would have been a nice change to this. Would have allowed us to ramp up our damage throughout a round. Oh god, that freeze took forever! Back up to 100. Let's make sure we continue throwing grenades just to get more barrels out onto the field as well. Even if they're not detonating now, they could detonate for any damage. So let's keep throwing them. 10 seconds left. We're at 112 HP. I thought it was going to be so much better. I'm trying to sneak in a few last minute kills, but I keep taking damage. Okay. okay. We have medium crystal bundle, gold coating. Gain crystals when healing. That's crazy. We heal after every kill. Oh, and look at this beautiful setup back here. Double crystal into a max health increase and a heal all at the same time. 580 HP now. We are getting pretty tanky. I see that greed on the right. Second wind checklist, big chests and damage seeker. Damage greatly increased, but lose max health when taking damage. I think we can do that. We have fortitude, so I think we could do that. Uh, I can never drop it, so I certainly hope we can. Damage increased after clearing each island. See if we can clear out anything. I think I'd have to get rid of my grenade mods for the gemstone. That would make a huge difference, though. That would make a really, really, really big difference. Unfortunate that we can't grab it. Because that... Ooh. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Bullseye or endurance, heal after each island. If I salvage that, that's 229, that's not enough. We can make more crystals with that though. Oh, this is awkward. Uh, 
Uh, I doubt I'll be able to buy anything. This is kind of weird. This is kind of weird. Uh, ice aura would be great, but again, we're broke. So we're heading <laughs> into the next boss. <laughs> we basically just got a free level there. Well, really, if you think about it, we got a negative level there because on a normal level, you would get a reward. We didn't get anything. We have an elite lightning crab in front of us. The armor has just fallen and I'm just going to keep line of sighting the best I can. Continue to send barrels at this guy as well. It looks like those barrels are, in fact, blowing up. Sometimes the boss itself is actually breaking the barrels. So I don't have to go anywhere close to this guy. We can completely take him down from the other side of the screen. However, I do have to be worried about potential ricochets for his projectiles off that wall behind me. That could prove very deadly. Good, back up there as we retreated to safety. One grenade takes down the boss, and now we are heading into the final biome for the run. We're going to take Poison Aura. Keep leaning into this aura idea. Extra health, bringing us up to 650. Oh, those are gravity racks. This is kind of a funny level to play melee on because normally this is the level I lose my shit about because we're standing in front and it's awesome because we're shooting all the enemies before they can even get into the cave. Well, now I have to run out to protect the cave. Luckily, it was on a one island, so we were through it pretty fast, but that could have been problematic. Enhanced turrets is the obvious option for me there. We're going to do double random into homing barrels. Random can give us anything. It could even give us melee mines. Uh, I'm going to keep throwing barrels while we're doing this as well, just to add to the chaos a little bit, if I may. Uh, that is a health increase totem on the far side. I'm not going for that. We're too close to the victory right now, and I want to achieve it. Uh, I don't have to kill those guys. There we go. I think it was just a creature mixed in with them. Uh, endurance. Sonic boom. Sonic Boom, Fast Claws, Vampire. We'll take Vampire and Endurance. And then I will go for the Upgrade Chest. Double Health would have also been excellent. We probably would have made more money on the Double Health, to be honest with you. I'm kind of regretting not taking that now. But Double Upgrade could potentially upgrade my Auras or the Mortar Turret, which is the chance I want to take. If that happens, if we start popping off because of that, that is a very, very good thing. I do have a spot I really like to stand on this level. It's this ramp right here. It forces all of the enemies to come down this singular path. And you can see, even when we have auras, we're attacking through walls and we can take advantage of our enemies walking the long way. That being said, I think it's just skulls left. So a quick grenade melee to take that one down. And then the homing grenades have found their targets. Perfect, 25 max health. Add it on top. Oh, God. We'll take the vampire. We'll do random again over the flawless. I want to try to get as many upgrades as we can for what I have. It, I, I need auras. I need auras. Anything that could possibly give me auras, I want to get. We're not looking bad, though. I am a little stressed over the losing health whenever we take damage thing, but I think we're outscaling it no problem. We're at 718 right now, and I think we can keep up that momentum as well. Good damage. Keep kiting. One more jump, and we're good. Nine seconds left in this, and my turrets are even doing an excellent job of slaying these enemies on the side. They're really taking the responsibility off my shoulders, and I do very much appreciate that. Our chest is going to give us Dagger Blast. Fantastic. That's a big AOE on our grenades, and we're taking the damage here. We're halfway through this biome and getting closer to the final boss with each passing round. Uh, I ran directly into the enemies here. Normally, I like to shoot down the cave, but no, we're playing aggressive this time. Totems at the top here are double greeds. Oh, my God. I don't know, man. I don't know about double greeds, man. Skull is coming down. We need to get closer so the auras affect him. It'd be really great if my melee could affect him. Uh, not lucky enough, I guess. Not right there, anyway. 743 HP. Let me cruise around, get back up on top. See if I can push him out of this corner, maybe. That's very rude of you. Very rude of you to just shotgun blast all of that damage into me when you know I can't dodge it. 
Now, losing HP here is actually totally fine because we're going to get more money when we heal. So, not worried at all about our missing health. I would have loved to have seen how many crystals I actually just got. I just missed the pop-up. Enhanced turrets is another upgrade here for us. That's three. Do we want to take on another boss? Probably not. I should probably stick to health for now. We're very, very close to the one. I want to make sure we get it. If I can get some regeneration, I think that would be fantastic. Get regenerator, heal every time you go to a new level, and then get paid for that healing with every tick. I think that's where it's at, bro. I think that's the strat. Let me push this launcher crab into the corner. This is round 26, so I'm expecting a lot of enemies here, but they actually thinned out very, very quickly. Damn. Okay. Health chest. Hard target, bronze heart, vampire. I'll take the random. I like this level. Not a survival. I could just cruise around the outside. I see my poison turret. Or is this my sentry turret? I can't keep them straight anymore. Either way, if I make all of the enemies come here, our AOEs will do a lot of damage as they walk in, and then the turret will blast them back. That skull's scary. We're at 778 max HP. I think we're still scaling. 803. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Man, these rounds are over really fast, and I think it's because my turrets have kind of spread out. Oh, FMJ is huge. Our turrets have kind of spread out, and they're taking down enemies at all of their spawn locations. That's super powerful. FMJ is going to give us more damage to armored targets. Most bosses come armored, so we can uh, break through that armor a little bit faster. I think I will be able to hold the line pretty effectively today. These AoEs are kind of scary. We do have a lot of stacks against us. But that wasn't too bad at all. They still haven't really made it onto the island. I'm gonna keep holding. Keep holding. Now, be honest. When you knew that this was a melee only challenge, did you ever think I'd be able to hold the breach here? You know what I mean? I am losing some HP now. We should be careful. I think this outperforms all of my expectations. I'm like super happy with this build and it's not even as strong as the other one I was running. Good grenade, just barely misses that skull. He is starting to take some damage. That was our poison aura there that just hit him. I didn't want to boop him back too far, but it didn't seem like that was really a problem. Okay, now we are going to get our final chest. Another level of FMJ for me, please. And another level of enhanced turrets as our turrets may be pivotal on the final boss. Uh, checklist, 25 eliminations, increase our damage, valued customer. We get HP whenever we shop. Let me get that chaotic grenade as well to continue to scale our health. Big chest, critical claws, sniper turret just out of my price range. I will take that big claws though, fantastic. Well, we've survived 29 rounds in a row. Will we make it to 30? I hope we do. If you guys are still watching, please be sure to hit that thumbs up button. It helps out our videos a ton. Just like my turrets are about to help me out a ton, I think. These are homing shots. Let me line of sight that. Uh, whoa, that's not fun. That's not fun at all. Oh my God. I'm gonna play on this side. I am burning a lot from the lava. King Skull is not being very nice to me today. Let's just keep chucking grenades around the corner and we'll be fine. We'll line of sight that. That's looking pretty scary. I have drawn him away from my turrets. No, there's one here. There's two here. This is the kill spot. This is it. Line of sight. Oh, those extra skulls. I'm not too excited about that. Good Lord. Is he just spinning like a top? Okay, other direction. Bring him to the turrets. <laughs> Half health, we're doing it. <laughs> Hold. Hold, grenade. Every grenade we throw should be sending a barrel out towards this guy too quick reposition over here i think all of the ads are taken down there's the skull in the back that grenade does not connect we're on fire he's placing fire underneath my feet even that far away come on turrets i believe in you come on <laughs> he's almost dead he's almost dead 
Oh my god, he's taking so much damage. And there it is, the melee! To finish it off! Now, I already have the achievement. But this just shows you guys a blueprint you can follow, a path you may undertake to be able to get this achievement yourselves as well. With that, I'm going to Crab Island. I'm going to celebrate this victory. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. I'll see you guys again very soon. Oh, yeah, I won with my gun. <laughs>